So I purchased another package from Jomar. I got the 20 mixed loved shoe box. It's like pre-owned shoes, something to the effect of that. I get 20 pairs of shoes for around $80. I believe it was 85. I have the sheet next to me so I can double check as I go into this video. But yeah, so I have a bunch of shoes next to me. I cheated and looked at everything because I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, it's an okay box. There's some mixed stuff in here, but let's just get into it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. I'm Shauna. I'm an online fashion reseller and I sell stuff on Poshmark, Mercari, hopefully eBay in the future, but um, that's a whole other <laughs> thing. So, um, assorted mixed shoes, women's pre-loved, 20 pairs, and I spent $85. And then shipping was $25, which is pricey, but it's a lot of shoes. So, I'm gonna get into some of the more worn shoes first. Um, I do have quite a few boxes of shoes, like, new in box. So, that's interesting. So, I got a bunch of sneakers. This is a pair of Pumas. These are like a black uh, trainer high top style sneaker. It has like this Velcro strap across the toes. Um, it says Ignite on the bottom and these are definitely pre-owned. They're dirty. I'll have to clean them up, but otherwise they're in pretty good condition. They're not like disgusting or anything. I'm trying to see the size, but it's like at a weird angle. I think they're a size eight. I'll put any additional information on the screen about any of these shoes. These are not resellable. They are a pair of Nikes. Um, I think the style's like the Tangent June or whatever. I don't know, but they are so worn on the bottom. Like no treading anymore. They're all like wrinkled and stuff on the sides. Like these are really, really gross. And yeah, I'm not gonna sell these at all. I think this is the only pair that's not really sellable. So these are Adidas Gazelle. And they are just a pair of white sneakers. Um, they are worn, but not terrible. And the leather isn't too dirty, like for them being like white shoes. Um, yeah, I mean, they appear to be in resellable condition. Um, size six and a half, so they are a smaller size, but they're just, I don't think they're gonna sell for a whole bunch, but I'll, I'll let you guys know what I ended up listing these for. I definitely need to give these a wipe down though, like at least on the sides and the bottoms. So these are a very classic Adidas sneaker they have the uh i think that's it's either gold or rose gold or maybe like a bronze i don't know <laughs> metallic um there is a splotch on this toe like someone dripped coffee or something on there i'm not sure if it'll show up very well just because of my lighting in here but um i feel like that should be easy enough to clean up it is like a leather material they are so dirty though so these definitely need a little bit of help um, these are a size 6. These don't have insoles, but they're in pretty good condition and they might be a decent shoe. I don't know a whole lot about sneakers, but or tennis shoes, whatever, athletic shoes. <laughs> but these are really, really cute. Um, they're Nike Air. They're pretty clean on the bottom, which is nice. Yeah, so I don't know exactly like what version of Nike Air sneakers these are. These are a five youth. So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably Google lens these and figure out from there like what year these are and whether these are like really worth anything. Um, it sucks that they're a youth size though, just because um, kid size or kid shoes don't really sell for as much. But people, adults, some adults have really, really small feet and have to wear youth shoes, so. But yeah, I mean, they're so cute. They remind me of like the 90s <laughs> or early 2000s. I think I had a pair of Skechers that looked exactly like these when I was a kid. So these are really worn. I don't know how to feel about these ones. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, clearly they're really dirty on the bottom. They're pink. They have a lot of like dirt on the toe and stuff. Um, they're Nike Air sneakers. And I don't know, they're just kind of icky. <laughs> I don't know, like there's yellowing and I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it would be worth trying to sell them. They're size eight. I'll, look, I'll do some research, but these might be in the same boat with the other ones where they're not really resellable. Like there is a lot of wear to the treading on these. So I don't know, I'm gonna put these ones to the side and debate on those. Um, these are, um, Adidas, uh, Boost shoes. These I actually did look up because I was kind of curious about these. Um, these are really dirty, but they're definitely in good enough condition to sell. Like, there's not a ton of wear to the bottom of them. They're just dirty. So I'll give these a wipe down, see what condition they end up being in but um they're really cute um these are a size seven and a half yeah i mean maybe i can get like 40 bucks or something out of these some of the styles were selling for more than that but this particular style it looked like it sold for like 50 bucks and those were in better condition than these so um i have high hopes for these <laughs> okay so these are nike flex just like a pair of running type shoes they're purple they're really cute but the i don't these might be too worn for like exercise i don't know um they're size eight and there is wear to the nike swoosh on the side there's some like chipping and stuff on the actual swoosh so i don't know these might be too worn also. Cause I mean, people are very particular about their exercise shoes. So I don't know. These are a pair of rocket dogs. They're this white sneaker. They kind of remind me of Vans, but they're not Vans. Um, rocket dog, I think is sold at like, not very expensive places. This is a size seven and a half. Um, maybe I can get 18 bucks or something from these. They just need a wipe down. Otherwise, excellent condition. These are pretty cute. These are a pair of Clark's Artisan uh, loafers. These are driving loafers. They have like the little um, thing on the heel, but they're like this cracked metallic driving loafer. Um, I don't sell a lot of Clarks. I know some Clarks can do pretty good though. I just never have really looked into it very much. Um, whenever I go to the thrift store, I usually find enough of different things to where I don't really go to Clarks. Um, but these are a size seven and a half. Yeah, I guess we'll find out if this is a cool style or not. These are a pair of American Rag laser cut out um, loafer sneaker things slip-on sneakers i don't know they are very clean on the bottom i don't think these have ever been worn i mean they <laughs> still have like tissue and everything in these uh size seven and a half yeah i have a lot of american rag and i looked up american rag looks like the shoes only sell for around 20 dollars, depending on the style so I'm hoping these are at least good styles. I don't know, but a lot of the new new in box ones are American Rag. So I guess we'll see. Um, okay, so these are some American Rag red pumps. These are really cute. They are new, uh, no wear to them at all, size nine. I mean, these are a nice classic shoe. This is. I mean, just a gorgeous uh, shoe. I don't really know what else to say about it. It has like an almond toe. Um, if these were a smaller size, I actually would consider keeping them, but a size nine is too big for me. And I mean, I don't really mind the American rag. Like I don't mind the price point and stuff. When I bought, purchased this box, I, I, had a, I knew that 
I wasn't gonna get like Gucci like you know like I had I kind of knew that I would be getting stuff like this but um I'm hoping that American Rag is like bread and buttery to where like it sells fairly good because if if the stuff sells for 20 bucks quickly that's the ideal situation because <laughs> then I can quickly make my money back okay so I believe the rest of the shoes are going to be new in box um some of the boxes are like old and like tearing apart so I'm not sure if they're actually new but we'll find out as we get into them I'll have to count and make sure I got 20 pairs of shoes too. But first box, these are a pair of peep toe block heel ankle strap black shoes. They're size 11, so it's definitely a good like large size. Not sure if this is still a current style, um, but um, they're definitely like a decent sized shoe. <laughs> this one, this box is like ripped apart at the bottom. So, I mean, they still have the tissue and stuff. And yeah, I mean, these are definitely new. They're still latched together, but these are actually perfect for right now. They're a pair of cork wedge sandals with this faux leather strappy detail. I'm assuming they're faux leather. Um, these are a size eight and a half. Yeah, it's all man-made. So yeah, the, I mean, these are pretty cute. So, um, I will be listing these guys ASAP and I'm gonna hope for the best. So this is by Ashley Stewart. I wonder if a lot of these are like JCPenney shoes. I have no idea. Um, so I don't, don't know what's going on with these. They have like the tissue wrapped around the toe. Um, these are like a black pointed toe heel. Oh, there must be like something on the actual toe. Well, I'm gonna take this off so I can show you guys. Cause I would like to know what that is. Oh, interesting. So there's a little palm detail on the toe. Huh. Um, it's very soft. I don't know if it's like rabbit's fur or anything. Cause it definitely feels like it could be. But yeah, just a heel, a uh, size uh, nine wide. More American rag. These are a pair of wedge ankle strap uh, heels. They're a size eight. Um, a Miley, I guess this is a style, but yeah, I mean, excellent condition, brand new. These must be like customer returns, maybe. I, I did see a customer return tag on one of the uh, pairs. Okay, so these are Electric Karma. Ooh, this is unique. Um, these feel so cheap, like very <laughs> like styrofoamy lightweight um lulu espadrille um yeah electric karma yeah super cheaply made so i can't imagine this selling for a whole bunch but it's an interesting style uh these are a size nine so these are by seven with the seven at the end I don't think I've ever sold shoes by them. So these are a pair of loafers with this metal detail at the toe. I don't know if it's focusing at all. Um, size six and a half. Almost has like a weave detail to these. So these are by A New Day, which I believe is Target. And these are a pair of block heel, ankle strap, open toe shoes. Uh, they're a size seven. They're like this blush color. Yeah. I've actually sold a pair of shoes like this from uh, Jeffrey Campbell, which was 
a lot more money than these are going to get me, but they're still a cute style. The last pair is by Comfort View. These are gonna be in a size eight and a half. So these are another loafer. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm not gonna completely take the tissue off, although I'm probably going to end up doing that anyways because I'm gonna have to take photos. And it looks like one of the gems on these is missing, which is great. But it has like this super embellished toe and one of the small gemstones are missing on it. Um, but yeah, they're just a pair of loafers. So hopefully there aren't any other missing ones on the other shoe. Although maybe I'll get lucky and find the stone floating around in this box and maybe I can glue it back on. I doubt it, but you never know. But overall, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Um, it's a decent box. Like I'm gonna make my money back. It's not. It's nothing like super expensive or like, like I'm not super excited to list all this stuff, but um, I mean, it's an easy way to source. So I mean, it, there's some, there's some good stuff. There's some bad stuff. It just depends on you as a reseller, like what you would prefer. Um, I know I personally can find better stuff in my local thrift stores, but if you can't really find anything at your thrift stores, then this is a great option. So I don't think I'm going to purchase this box again, but um, there, Joe Mar has a lot of boxes that um, I can always try. Um, I just don't think the shoe box is for me, but <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!